Greetings Earthlings! Um, welcome to my new update video. The first thing that strikes you is probably my crystal clear voice. Um, and the reason for that is that I discovered uh, that uh, the built-in recording device in uh, Microsoft Windows called uh, Xbox Bar or something like that couldn't record good audio for me. So I replaced it with a free software and uh, it's a little bit mind-boggling since um, the Microsoft thing probably costs hundreds of millions of dollars and this is free. But hey, uh, so anyway, um, this is version 67 and it's called Many Small Things. And what's special about this version is that it's actually save game compatible, which means that uh, you can load up uh, version 66 saves on it and it will work. Uh, with a disclaimer that it probably will not work in the long run because I've changed a lot of balance things and uh, there might be strangeness who knows I haven't actually tried but they load fine and they boot up and everything's working initially but I do recommend the starting a new game and what's special about this version uh, number two is that um, is that um, I will not uh, push this into the stable branch uh, and I will not have this version translated because I'm planning on doing two more of these versions that are save game compatibles with many small things and this uh, version has focused on the city building experience and the other two there's it's going to be battles and it's going to be world and what I'm doing is basically working off what I uh, what I see as uh, they call it technical debt. It's uh, systems that, that are not working properly or are broken or um, just not living up to their potential. And uh, I wouldn't say that uh, I this the game is now perfect, but it, it's a hell of a lot better with what it has. So there's no new big new features or uh, re reworks or things like that. But there are a few features that I thought I'd highlight. Uh, the first one is uh, events. There's a new event engine in the game, and it's based off out of text files that are in the uh, mod folder or the vanilla folder. And right now there are 200 events, and they all have they all uh, pop up at different uh, times depending on uh, the parameters in the text files. And um, this really adds some flavor, especially to late game, I think, uh, and something to look forward to. There are currently, I think, over 200 events, and there's no upper limit, so uh, I hope a lot more will get added. And I can't take credit for these, because they are made by uh, Vanir, or uh, Thomas, who is now working for me. With me, I should say. <laughs> um, and he was initially, I initially approached him to be a game tester because he has consistently throughout the years or a year probably uh, been very helpful finding bugs and um, he's, he's basically alone, alone he's uh, contributed to 70% of the bug reports and a lot of suggestions and so forth. So he's really, really nice guy to, to have working for me with me <laughs> and um, yeah so one thing he's done is uh, he's done these events and I can show you uh, in the debug menu how, what they look like they here's the list of all the events and uh, you can activate one of them here and you can see that um, there are different types of events there are choices there are timed events and so on and so forth and they can change uh, properties in the subjects or on the entire in the entire city or they can create disasters and so forth and only the only the 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 no what do you say the the imagination grasps something only the imagination is the the limit here and i can add new what i call actions like uh, disasters or something that happens in the game that you can a reference in 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 an event uh, file. Uh, just let me know what you want, and I can add that. And hopefully there will be uh, more events coming along uh, with each version. Um, so that will be fun. That will spice up late game, I think. 
another big thing I've done is maintenance. I've reworked maintenance so that uh, it's much more impactful and more of a science rather than something magical that happens in the background. So now you can actually, you know, you can watch, look here for instance, that we can see that in the produced per day thing that, um, uh, um, no, where is it? Maintenance at the bottom. You see that you're losing 80 cut stones per day from maintenance and that's very expensive so maintenance is very expensive and the reason I did it, made it expensive is because creating rooms and upgrading rooms is not supposed to be about saving up materials and then doing and doing it and then have a bonus for the rest of the game that's against my philosophy so uh, now you need to the, the high cost of upgrading and uh, building is the maintenance which is uh, perpetual so you need to find a balance and make the uh, make everything work economically in your city so that's uh, maintenance and another thing I've done is why are everyone moving oh they're moving slow because the event spawned huh <laughs> that's funny okay um, difficulty I've changed difficulty drastically I think that uh, many Many, for many versions now, the game has been, especially early game, has been way too difficult. And uh, late game has been way too uh, easy. You get over a point where you're just drowning in resources and money. And I've tried to change that, uh, reverse that phenomenon uh, best, as best I can. And the result is that now early game is really, really uh, easy. No, I shouldn't say really, really, but it's very easy in terms of satisfaction and immigration. So you can uh, quickly reach a thousand population. They don't, they're not so picky at that point. Uh, and that has worked well, I think, and it's going to work well with new players and such. I think I'll have to, uh, I'll have to, I, I might have done this, gone overboard with this, but uh, I'm, I, I am pondering how to make the early game more interesting, especially for new players. And it brings me back to my experience with games, with games such as Banished, because the reason the game has been hard in the beginning uh, has been because I don't want to give give away uh, early game for for free, for cheap, like selling it cheaply, because it has everything that Banished has. And in Banished, you're struggling to survive the first winters, and once you've done that, the game is over. So I kind of want want to keep as much as I can of that in early game uh, but we we already have uh, for instance uh, food is a thing starvation so you will you will pro as a new player you will starve a few times but there needs to be other things and I'm contemplating should exposure be uh, more prominent should housing be more prominent uh, what can we do to make early game more interesting for for new players because once once you've uh, beaten banished the first time there's no you, you've beaten the whole game so for veteran players there's still going to be songs of six but for new players they're going to encounter a a survival more of a survival game in the first uh, in the first hours of their career as as despots of the game uh, so that's what I've done with difficulty. I've also tweaked all things here. Um, for instance, well, service and access. I've tried to give more weight to to more interesting things like uh, equipment and uh, food rations, drink rations. Um, they're they're more powerful now, and furniture and stuff like that. So you'll have to tap into that as you grow. And I hope that. Uh, veteran players will have a big challenge in, in late game and late game I don't know what late game should be or is at the moment I don't know at what point uh, you feel that the simulation is uh, too slow I should clear this event because it looks it bothers me there we go finish the event and now they should be returning to their normal speeds there we go um, where was I I have no idea Let's continue. Upgrades. Uh, well, um, like I said, I, I've processed maybe 400 suggestions from you guys, and I have had uh, 
issues myself that I've done and I haven't written it all down and I can't remember everything but you'll find stuff here and there like uh, a room upgrade tool that's really nice and I've added uh, upgrades and um, and uh, tools to quality of life uh, and upgrades all over the game so um, that's nice and I, a lot of a lot of stuff here like uh, the saved room blueprint and um, stuff like that um, kind of lost it there uh, another big thing we've done is that we've uh, for instance um, we've fixed up these texts so they're a lot more colorful uh, they're a lot more varied between species and between individuals and uh, that has been a theme ongoing everywhere so we can see that uh, tourists here for instance the the reviews are more alive and fun and um, stuff like that and um, yes that's tourism text I have a list here that I'm going through disease we've uh, reworked disease I have to start saying we now so strange um, where's disease it's over here uh, reworked disease so that uh, well it didn't make a lot of sense before but right now basically um, makes more sense I don't actually remember what I've done but you got you got sick people sick people to take care of all the time and the more you uh, increase health the less sick people you get so that's an, a big drain on your on your workforce and uh, then there's the uh, if 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 health uh, declines uh, enough then there's going to be outbreaks like before but the thing is that you can stave off these outbreaks there's no hard limit now I believe there's been a hard limit where you can progress because you got uh, epidemics hitting you all the time but that's no longer the case and I think we did that through technology so um, there's basically an infinite technology thing that you have here that you need to invest in so it's going to be more and more expensive for you with um, with uh, staving off these epidemics and you'll reach a point where it's not possible to progress and that depends on how well you built the city so that's what I want I want you to learn something with every run and push a little further each run uh, and I've done the, more or less the same with crime and the beauty of this is that while a technology that you just click on is boring it's a boring thing I'm going for 1.0 replace these two technologies with uh, two uh, rooms that you build instead it's going to be a medical research facility that di is dissecting corpses and stuff like that and for law there's going to be some kind of police or secret police uh, building so you just need to build more and more of those and uh, allocate more and more workforce into those two rooms it's going to be a lot better than having techs uh, and then a uh, big thing here is the new railer system uh, we've got now instead of having uh, an endless uh, being endlessly bombarded by raiders which appear out of nowhere we now have a list of known raiders at any give uh, in that are uh, that live in the world okay so they live they live for those who doubt they they live at the edge of the world like here and over here and sometimes they come they come into your world and uh, they um, they raid and they raid it's as simple as that so I don't think that they they're there they destroy immersion or anything like that I think that's uh, but uh, the the big change here is that there's a finite set of raiders and they're all interested in you uh, once you reach a certain wealth and uh, once you uh, once they raid you you can uh, fight them and if you win they they're gone so basically it's like levels that you you climb a ladder and at each step there are two or three uh, raiders waiting for you and you can choose to deal with those or you can choose to keep climbing and if you keep climbing they're gonna they're not gonna attack you because they're too weak um, and the reason I did it like this is because um, I think that some criticism cr criticism has been that you never get a chance to breed in this game 
And I think that that's true. You, you don't. You don't get a chance to just sit back and enjoy your creation. And so that's what I wanted to do with that, this. Uh, that you clear a stage and then you're fine. And if you want to progress, you progress and you get new challenges. But you can stay there and breathe for a while. And then, like I said, on, I read it from a list here, 400 suggestions or more um, from you guys. And um, finally, trade, a new trade system. Uh, there were some flaws with the old trade, so now it looks kind of neat. It looks like this. This is the old, this is the new uh, goods menu. And there's nothing economical about this one. It's just uh, in and out, what you're producing and what you're what your um, oh um, this is wrong I need to fix it, this one um, and um, I've moved all of that all the trading stuff into this new screen here um, uh, it's very very complicated and takes many many days to understand the trade system but I went through that and now it works um, it works a lot better and how it's how it works is that uh, there's no difference if you choose to produce machi machinery or you produce uh, or you choose to produce stone there's no difference in the profits you're gonna get uh, depending on your workforce I mean if you put 10 people on on uh, wood and 10 people on machi machinery it's going to be the same net profit that you receive uh, because of some uh, smart things that I worked out with uh, Vanier or Thomas uh, so that's how it works now and there's also a much uh, more uh, you can feel the supply and demand so you need to grow your your uh, trade partners substantially uh, as you grow your trade in order to make a profit and uh, what else uh, we got new uh, new a new price system we got um, wh where is that listed it's listed uh, we can have a look at a um, I moved the faction uh, menu here. Uh, if you look at the goods here, we can see that uh, we got a new thing here in that there's a toll, which means that's the distance that the, that the caravan is traveling. And it's a fixed rate per item. So it's the same for every resource uh, here. And then there's a tariff, and the tariff uh, is kind of like, um, I don't understand it fully, but it's a, it's a toll on, on, uh, on the work required to make a certain resource. And, and for instance, the tariff on uh, machinery uh, here, it's not, it's, not, it's not based on the price, it's based on the, the work that is needed for the, for the item the direct work that is needed. Th this uh, machinery, for instance, it has a lot of inputs like, uh, I believe, metal and furniture, and that's not counted in the tariff. Yes, uh, I think that's basically all I've got. I can talk a bit about the future, which is very exciting to me, at least. So I'm going to make uh, two more or two, two or more uh, patches like this, and hopefully they won't take as long. I'm going to start with battles, and I'm going to do the same thing there. Uh, battles are not working well uh, currently. There's a awkward movement, there is friendly fire, and the, it's unbalanced, and it's uh, um, messy. You don't know really what's going on with morale and stuff like that. So I'm going to uh, work on that, and I'm going to fix that. I'm not going to add new weapons or anything like that. Uh, and that's version 68. Uh, and then version 69 is going to be about the world map. I'm going to work on the factions, their AI and your empire management and all of that. And uh, building building up your empire and, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, and then also I have, uh, I want to add much, a lot more sound to, to the world. So that uh, I believe sound is really can be really impactful on immersion. We already have spectacular graphics, so it would be a shame not to complement that with sound. 
Uh, right, and uh, then it's time for 1.0, and 1.0 is going to be a lot of goodies that I've saved, which are kind of easy for me to add, like new rooms, new uh, items, new uh, lots of stuff, like uh, planning on adding, for instance, mills, like water mills and, uh, and wind mills that has a radius, in radius impact on farms and such. And the pa balancing work is going to continue. And like I said, the the secret police and the uh, or the police and uh, the um, the medical research facility, a casino. I don't remember it all, but I have a lot of goodies uh, uh, that I've saved for that occasion. Because at 1.0, I want that to be a success, obviously. So I need all of you to come back and play the game so that uh, the Steam algorithms feel that and um, and. Um, gives Songs of Six some exposure. Um, yeah, that I think will do it. Uh, I hope you enjoy this new version. Let me know. I, I suspect that I have uh, that I made the early game a little bit too easy, maybe, and some of you might not like that. Um, but it can be fixed with mods if it's a small issue, and if it's a big issue I'll look into it. And like I said, I think I need to find some more uh, mechanics for early game that are such as uh, exposure, for instance. Maybe they, they need thirst as well or something like that. But I think we got everything needed for, for such mechanics. So um, let me know if you think of something that would be fun to add. Okay, see you next time. Ta-ta!